In this tutorial, we're going to use a bit of a real-world example to go through and talk about collision detection in VSP using SNAP2. Now, we have this example rotorcraft here with, you know, four rotor blades, a tail, a body, and this ignore tail component that's up on the fuselage, just to again demonstrate what happens when we're using sets. Now, we've got some pre-cone to the rotor. Everything looks like it should clear, no problem. We have no issues. And so what we're going to do is we're going to come to the rotate parameter in the rotor and drag that down into the manual collision detection parameter setting and we're just going to click increase on the collision set now the collision set does not have this wing component in it so what should happen is that we're going to hit increase and it's going to say no solution because it doesn't hit anything so we can come and we can drag this rotor around and even though yes it's passing through this component the set is pretty much ignoring it. It's, it's acting like it's not there. So as we move rotate around, we can see that all the blades move around. It's not hitting anything. We're free and clear. So for now, let's go ahead and hide this because we know we're not going to hit it anyway. Let's say that we came in and wanted to change some parameters in our rotor. Uh, let's say that we are happy with the height. We're happy with the tail position. Everything else is fine. But we came in and said, well, that might be a little bit too much pre-cone or we don't want any at all. So let's set it back to zero. We've got a nice flat rotor blade. Great. So just on the face of it, it looks like we're still okay. If we come in and check for collision, however, watch what happens. The rotor comes around and because of where it is in height and where the tail is, we just clip the tip of the tail right here. And in fact, if I hit R and center up on one of these points, you can see that it's just hitting the top. And so it told you that there was a problem in your model whenever you set the pre-cone back to zero. And there are a variety of ways that you can choose to fix this. And that's all, of course, based on your engineering judgment. Do you want the tail to be a little bit shorter, but try and maintain the same volume? Do you want to add the pre-cone back? Do you want to move the tail aft? Do you want to decrease the rotor radius? There are a variety of things that you can do to try and fix this problem. But if you were just going off of the visual representation of this rotor, say when this was back at 45, based on the box that's drawn around this rotor, you wouldn't necessarily think that this is going to hit the tail, but it most certainly does. And so again, this is a real world example of how Snap2 and manual collision detection in OpenVSP has shown you that just because you made a small change to your model, there were real world consequences of rotor strike. And so this is just a way of saying, use this to investigate your model for potential problems, use it to try and indicate what a solution might be, and use it in a way that tries to help you identify issues and it's going to serve you very, very well.